In this video I'm going to show you a technique that can help you reduce your DAS 3D render times by over 15%. Hey there everybody, Rocco here. Uh, what we're going to do today, we're going to look at a little simple technique we can do to speed up our DAS 3D renders. Uh, you know, there's nothing worse than getting an hour or two hours into a render and thinking, you know what, I wish I could have found a way to speed this up. Well, this is a little simple technique that we're going to explore today. Something that I think instinctively we all know, but we either seem to overlook it or forget it. I know I always do, I'm always forgetting things like this. Uh, but it's something that I'm just going to go on about just in case we don't know about it and but also as well just to remind those people who do know about it and just forget like me uh, what we've got here we've got a little simple scene set up uh, it's uh, VW Margot she's just a, a recent release the last couple of weeks or so from on the Daz shop uh, you can find links down below in the description uh, and what she is, she's just got a little jumper on, a pair of jeans, a pair of trainers, and we've stuck some hair on her head. What we're going to do first is I'm just going to come into this camera that we're going to be using, and I'm just going to run a little test render of maybe a thousand iterations, just to get a baseline time, just to see you know how long things will take to render. What we'll do then, once we've done that, we will explain the uh, technique that we're going to be using and then we'll apply it and then we'll run another render and compare the times to see if we've got any reduction in uh, the time to render. Little spoiler alert, there is a reduction otherwise this would be a pretty pointless video. So what I'll do, I'll set this render off and then I'll get back to you once it's done. I'll catch you in a bit. So there we go, uh, a thousand uh, iterations have been done. It's taken 20 minutes, 56.13 seconds in total. Uh, it's come out a pretty good render. It wasn't quite finished. I think it got to about 90% on the progress bar, but uh, 20 minutes, pretty nice render. Uh, so there we go is our baseline. Uh, I'll just save this out just for later use and we'll save it there. Right then, 20 minutes 56. Uh, I've actually got a note of that, so all's good. We'll close that down now, we don't need it. Right, uh, what we're going to do now then is we're going to look at this technique that we're, that we're going to look at. We'll come back out to perspective view and take a look at our model. Now there's one thing that stands out beyond everything else, and that is she has an awful lot of geometry that's hidden by clothing. All her legs are hidden, her feet are hidden, and the majority of her upper body, the only part of her upper body that showed, of course, is her head and her hands. But, once again, if we go into our camera view, her hands aren't even on the screen. So her hands aren't going to be rendered in that view. However, because her hands exist, just like all the rest of the geometry does, Iray has to calculate every single iteration the fact that this geometry exists in the scene. Lights bouncing around in the scene and, you know, a ray of light's going to hit a hand. Iray has to calculate that. But because none of these things are actually going to appear on screen, as you can see, uh, we don't actually need the geometry in the scene. We can get rid of it. Uh, or at best we can turn it off so it's not visible. So what we can do is if we come up to pelvis up here and we right click on it and go select and then select children, that'll select, I'll do it again, it didn't quite do that, I think I double clicked, it's going to select all the geometry that exists from the pelvis down to the tips of the toes. And then if we come down to display on the parameters tab and up to the visible uh, parameter, Give that a click and we've just turned off now all the underlying geometry that's currently under her pants, under her trousers. Uh, and we can check that by clicking on the trousers that she's wearing or the jeans and you can see now she's got no legs. And likewise, she has no feet. So all that exists now geometry wise is a head, her upper torso and her hands. But like we said, the upper torso isn't going to exist on the screen when we look through our camera because it's covered up by a jumper. So we can turn the abdomen lower off, we can turn the abdomen upper off, we can turn off the chest lower 
and the chest upper. Now our arms are completely underneath uh, the jumper as well and we've already said that the hands aren't going to appear on screen so we can turn off the entire arms as well. So we'll right click on left collar again, select children, down to visibility on the display, turn a left arm off and then come across to her right arm, again select children, visible off and also uh, breasts aren't available, uh, visible either underneath the jumper, so we can turn them off. So now all that she exists as is a head, a head of hair, and a little jumper that she's wearing. And we can test that again by turning off the jumper. All that exists is a head with a jumper. So now if we go back to uh, our camera and we start the render off again, as I already mentioned, iRay now isn't going to have to calculate all of that stuff that we've turned invisible. It's not part of the calculation anymore. So we should get a reduction in the time that it takes to render the scene. So let's see, we shall run the render again and then we'll look at the results once we're done. And welcome back. Uh, as you can see, the second render has finished. Uh, and even though it might have only just been a few seconds for you, it was in total for me 17 minutes, 27.14 seconds, according to the log, uh, which is a reduction of about three and a half minutes in it, three minutes, 30 seconds, something like that, because the original time was 2056, if I remember right. Uh, which, incidentally, is about a 16.6% time reduction. Uh, I have actually just worked that out in Excel, but yeah, 16.67% uh, uh, time reduction, which is about one-sixth of the time has been reduced, uh, which isn't something to be sniffed at, and it's certainly better than a, than a kick in the teeth. Uh, and as you can see from that render there, there's I don't see any difference. Nothing's changed in the, the, the finished article. Uh, but we've reduced our time to render by 16, over 16%. 16 now, the amount of time that you are going to, to save using this technique will vary. It will depend on the complexity of your scene. It will depend on uh, just how much of that scene you can turn off. It will also depend on your system specifications. If you've got a really fast GPU, like, you know, one of the 20 series, or if you're doing this in the future, a 30, you know, the 3000 series, uh, they're designed to deal with complex situations, so you might not notice as much of a difference. But, you know, us mere mortals who've got uh, lesser GPUs than that, uh, you know, you will notice this, this difference, but the time will vary. But, uh, you know, any reduction that you get is surely worth it. Uh, one thing you've got to bear in mind, though, or there's three things, actually, that you're going to have to bear in mind. Uh if something in your scene is giving off light, then obviously you can't switch it off. You, you, you need it there because it needs to put its light out into the scene. Uh, likewise, kind of opposite to that, something which would cast a shadow into the viewport, you would need to keep you know, visible and you know, let iRay do its stuff because you don't want to be removing shadows just like you don't want to be removing light. And thirdly, on a similar vein to the light, anything that is a reflective surface that is just off screen, you also want to keep that turned on as well because that will seriously affect the bounce of the light into the, the viewport where you are. But beyond those three things, if it's not visible or if it's covered by clothing in the in the sense of uh, the character that you, you, you know, you're rendering, turn it off. It doesn't need to be there. Uh, you know, and I really then won't have to do the calculations for the geometry uh, when it's not going to be seen anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's it. You know, 16% saving on that particular render. It will change and vary, as I say, depending on the complexity of your scene. But 16% uh, and then, you know, you apply other little techniques either on this channel or that you see anywhere else. And it's all cumulative and it'll all just chip away at the render time uh, that you do. I mean, 16%, that's one six, so an hour render, you're saving 10 minutes. Two hour render, you're saving 20 minutes. Uh, it all adds up and it all builds up. And, you know, certainly when it all, you know, is cumulative with other techniques, all of these little things help. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Just switch things off. That's all you need to do. As I said earlier, this is something that we all probably instinctively know, but 
I tend to forget all the time to do it. Uh, so there you go. 16% saving in time just by switching things off and that's all that you need to do. Uh, anyway, thanks for listening in. Thanks for taking your time to get to the end. Uh, if you like this video and find it useful, give us a click down below on the like button. It'll really help. Uh, even better, subscribe and hit the little notification bell and uh, you'll get informed straight away that I drop another video or maybe another tip like this or one of my reviews that I'm going to be doing. Uh, and finally as well, if you have any questions about anything in this video or questions about DAS in general, or like always, if you just fancy a little chat, drop it down in the comments down below and uh, I'll get back to you and I'll talk to you as, as soon as I possibly can. Uh, so thanks for listening. Uh, I hope you got something out of this uh, and I hope it's helped you somewhat. Again, like as usual, any asset that, that's been done in this little test render, you will be able to find the links down in the description. So use them if you're, if you're looking to maybe pick up Margot or something. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll see you next time. So bye-bye for now.